How's it going boys? We're back with another episode of our NBA Live Franchise Mode here with the Chicago Bulls. And boys, we're in the playoffs now. Oh, I'm happy that we're back here. This is where we belong. You know, after making that signing of Carl Anthony, I really thought it would put us over the edge, but unfortunately it wasn't. So now we got Dennis Smith. We got a bit of a better team, so I can't wait to get in here. First game, going up against the Washington Wizards. Um, I wonder what their team looks like. They must still have Bradley Beal and John Wall. Like, I wouldn't imagine it otherwise. Um, so let's check the Wizards. Um, they do have John Wall. They got Bradley Beal. Uh, Otto Porter, but that's kind of it. Like, they have these good um, rotational players, but really, like, you know, they're not that much better than what we have if you look at our team. I mean, look, we have a 94 and a 90. They have a 91 and an 89. They do have an 84. We have an 83, though, but I think our depth kind of beats them, if I'm perfectly honest. So, boys, I think we might be able to take this series. Again, I don't want to speak too ahead of myself because how many times have I had a better team and I lost the series? So, anyways, with that in mind, let's get into it, boys. Come on, first game. Please, 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 please. Yes! Let's go! We take game one in D.C. Come on, game two. If we can steal one more, that'd be amazing. We go back to Chicago with a 2-0 lead. We don't. 1-1, one, one, I'm fine with that. As long as we, we can win both in Chicago. I know, Chicago is a good stadium to play, be home at. Nice, okay. 2-1, let's go boys, come on, we can win our first playoff series. I'm feeling it, come on. Okay, 2-2, two, two. they take 1-2, it's a bit of a blow. Okay, game five, come on, please, please, win, please. No, 16 point loss, okay boys, we're gonna have to come back from behind here, please. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, and we get bounced. I thought it was looking good after we went up 2-1, but lose three straight in a playoff series, and what can you expect? So, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I did get a bit ahead of myself there by hoping that we do. You know, maybe we'll win our first playoff series. But, you yeah, gotta build a better team. I, I thought we had a decent team, but it's just gotta get even better. Anyways, boys, I'll see you at the draft then. Okay, boys, we're here at the draft now. We got the 16th overall pick, which I guess is pretty good for still making the playoffs. I'm fine with that. So, oh my, so let's go. Let's. We just need to get a really good, maybe like an 80 overall, quick developer, superstar, I don't care. Someone like that, that's what we need. Um, okay, I see this guy. Okay, he's got an A plus interior offense, interior defense, A minus. Okay, 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 interesting. This guy's got good athleticism, though. Sergio Gude or TJ Macy? Okay, interesting. You got an A-plus perimeter offense. Playmaker, Howard Lloyd. Any guys that are good at defense, too, but this guy, Lawrence Williamson. Look at this guy. A-plus offense. Uh, A-plus A offense, A-plus defense. This is the kind of guy you want. Um, I mean, really, and... B plus playmaking. I think I'm gonna take a uh, Lauren. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna. Nah, do I take him? Yeah, I think I'm gonna take him. You know why? Because I don't want to risk it. I thought maybe maybe he'll be available in the second round. But if he's not, then we just pass and we passed on a really good player. We'll be up the creek basically. I I hope either Macy or Goudet are still available because I'm definitely gonna pick them. I don't see Macy. Um, man, I don't see Goudet. I see another. Point guard, but I don't really want another point guard. We could go for someone really athletic, um, like either one of these guys. Uh, this guy's all Bs, but this guy's an A minus perimeter defense. I'll take a wing defender actually, and plus his name is Cornelius Crutchfield. Um, I'll take that guy any day of the week. So there you go, boys. Um, it's a decent draft. I mean, we'll see how it is after we go to the draft recap, but. It's going to be interesting, this one. I don't know how that point guard is going to be. I hope he's good. So let's see. First pick, Joey Siragusa. Is he a superstar? Normal. Oof, 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 oof. Not good, not good. AJ Ortega, this next pick. Point guard, 81 overall, 19. Superstar right there. That's the kind of player you want on your team. Um, keep going, keep going. Okay, so who did we pick? 14. No, 16, sorry. Okay, Lawrence Williamson. 1980 overall, 
normal developer. Not the worst. He's 80 overall, so that's good. I guess that bumps down McLeod, but we'll see. We'll see how kind of how it works. There's to Jay Macy. So he is 76, but he's quick. So that's going to be... I don't think he's going to be as good, though. I don't think he's ever going to maybe reach 80. We'll see. Uh, Sergio Gude, there he is. Uh, 75 at 20. He's a quick developer, though, as well. Okay, okay. And now if we check our pick, Cornelius Crutchfield, not that good. 69 overall. So whatever it's you we try is any other good gems late in the second oh yeah andrew Sh sean andrew sorry but i really didn't want to pick um another point guard we have way too many so anyways boys we'll get into free agency or actually sorry no we're getting into the resign uh stage jumping ahead of my uh jumping ahead of myself here so here we go okay we russ melvin he wants two years six mil i'm f totally okay with that like four and six mil for these kind of role players that are still young and may be able to grow. Uh, I'm I'm happy with that. Robbie Heron, he's probably not going to grow. So I'm fine with keeping him around for four mil. Bellinelli, Felicio, Rashawn Paul. Not going to resign these guys because really they were auto-signed at the end of the last season. I, I don't really need them. So anyways, boys, now we're going to get him to free agency. Okay, boys. I don't know if you see what I see. But oh my goodness, look who is available. Do I go for it? I want to so bad. This guy is just so good. Like, he's just amazing. Like, oh my gosh, he's so good. Do I go for him or Dennis Smith? I can only sign one. So I'm going to have to trade Dennis Smith. But I think it'd be smarter if we just went for this guy. Who, we, who mind you, I have an eye and I wanted to make a trade for this guy. Um, Roy Schmidt is he he's a quick developer and he's 87 overall 23 with and he's a small forward which we have a need for so i'm gonna try and sign this guy he's more important to me i feel uh are we first no we're not so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure we are first so then we can kind of have a start having a big three you know forming with cat dennis smith and if roy schmidt can jump a bit more that'll be a really solid big tree big three not big tree um, he still doesn't want to sign. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to give, dude, I'm going to give you a max. I don't care. That's how much money it takes to like sign you for you to sign. Hey, have it here. Are we ahead of Boston? Finally? No, my gosh. Don't tell me he's going to sign with Boston. Don't do that. They're going for Lillard and Roy Schmidt. Okay. I mean, we could also go for CJ McCollum. I hope. Okay. I'm going to simulate one week. If we don't get him, we're going for one of those big free agents. We have to. The team's not going to be competitive. If even if we have to pay someone out of position, we have to play out someone out of position. That sucks, but that's that's just what I want to do. We have to get one of these guys. So we have 32 million cap room. That means he, I guess, rejected. Um, let's see. My signings. No, nope. we didn't get him, of course. Wow, Boston's got a bit of a super team. Okay, Alonzo goes to Utah. Interesting, interesting. Not what I would expect. Uh, available, let's check. CJ McCollum is the only one left. And I guess he is cheap, so that's not too bad. Uh, CJ, you know, we do have a need at shooting guard, so I'll, I'm fine with that. Uh, how about 28 mil? How does that sound to you, my friend? Uh, we're second. Oh, come on. Just sign with us, man. He really doesn't want to sign with us, hey? Buddy, I'm going to give you a, brick, a very, 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 very big deal. How about that much? Still no? Oh my gosh. How much am I going to pay to get this guy on my team? Um, I guess go up to there. Oh, 10 million over what he wants. Still wants to go back to the Wizards. Uh, I don't know what to do then. Kent Perlu, who's this guy? Okay, he's 80 and 21. So that's interesting. He wants 19 mil. Is he quick or? No, he's normal. Not worth it, not worth it. Uh, I wish you could sort by like, who's a quick developer, that'd be nice. Even this guy, Jermaine Harris, Power Forward, Marvin Spicer. I wouldn't mind getting those guys. Okay, boys, please tell me we get CJ McCollum. I don't think it's gonna happen, but it'd be so nice to, if, if it actually did go through, please. Uh, or second, but I don't know. Okay, let's see. We still have only 1.9 in cap room, so he might have accepted it. Okay, let's see, let's see, come on. 
Now we're first. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Okay, next week, please. If Please, we should be able to have it done. Wrapped up the deal by this week. Please, please, please. Free agent offers. Please tell me he's not there. Yes, we finally get our star. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. CJ McCollum, 32 mil. That's crazy. Probably way too much. And it might um, impact our signings. You know, we might not be able to sign some good, um, you know, re-sign at least. Guys that are 5 mil, 10 mil, you know. So we'll see how that transaction affects us in the coming years. But when an 89 overall player comes, you take him any day of the week. But um, anyways, boys, we'll look at our team, the rotation quickly. Looking at that, it looks pretty good. I mean, 90, 89, 94, that's a pretty decent team. And if we do look at the rotation, uh, I think it's looking pretty solid. Malcolm Brogdon as a sixth man, Lawrence Williamson, Wes McLeod, Robbie Haran. That's good. But I think what I'm going to do, boys, quickly is actually look if we can maybe get a trade for Malcolm Brogdon. So, boys, I think I'm looking for someone from the maybe in the front court. We have Denzel Valentine as a backup, a shooting guard. So maybe like a power forward or a center. We need a backup. We could use a backup center. So, boys, anyways, I'll look for a trade, and I'll get back to you guys when I found one. Also... I think it's worth pointing out that the Bucks have nine centers, including TJ Macy. So go figure. Anyways, boys, I think this is the deal I'm going to do. Just straight up Brogdon for Macy. Um, never mind. They don't have no interest in Brogdon. Um, there was someone else. I think it was Phoenix that I was looking at. Um, they did have someone that was interested for a center. Medium, they are... Slightly interested. Who's this guy? Malcolm Graziani. Would they be willing straight up? Nope, they're not interested. So I'm going to have to add in a second. Uh, let's see if that'll make it go through. How about with the second? Yeah, come on, man. I know you want it. Ah, okay. So I'm going to have to add in a first then. How about a first um, this year? I'm assuming we'll do well this year, so I'm not too worried. No, they don't want it. Okay. Anyways, boys, I guess we're keeping Mal uh, Malcolm Brogdon. He's on a cheap deal, so again, my attempts at failing in this game have failed, of course. Um, did I just say my attempts at failing? My attempts at trading in this game have failed once more, so I'm sorry, boys. I don't know what to do. There's no value meter. There's no stars. Whatever. What are you going to do? Build through the draft. Build through free agency. Anyways, boys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, have a great day. Peace.